Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog .com. I have a gorgeous box with an integral lid using the Noble Peacock Specialty DSP. This is the integral lid, so it's all in one piece. And the Noble Peacock papers are specialty papers. These are 12 sheets of 12 by 12 or 30.5 by 30.5 centimetres. And there's four sheets of three single-sided designs, so there isn't a design at the back, <clears throat> but it's all made with a foiled pattern. I've chosen to use this sheet, which has been cut at five and a half inches by 12 inches. In metric, that's 14 centimetres by 30.5 centimetres. I'm using the Royal Peacock stamp set for my sentiments, this sentiment in particular, and the detailed peacock dies to die cut the feathers. I'll also be using the stitched nested labelled dies and it's the fourth largest one and also the smallest one, the linear one, and that's to create this label here. Noble peacock foil sheets to die cut the feathers. There are three colours in the pack and six sheets. Pretty peacock and old olive ink. Whisper white scrap, this gorgeous 3 8 inch or 1 centimetre reversible ribbon in old olive and pretty peacock and a 1 inch circle punch. So let's get started. I'm going to score on the reverse side because you'll see better that way. So you score at 1 inch first. <coughs> then turn it the other way. And then you score at five and nine sixteenths. And I'll go through the metric in a minute. Then at six and nine sixteenths, eleven, so in metric that will be. 2.5 centimetres, 14.1 centimetres, 16.6 um, centimetres and 28 centimetres. Turn your card so that the short side is on the top and then you score at one inch on either side. And then one inch on the opposite side. Now we want to burnish our score lines. You don't want to press too hard on your cardstock, the foiled side, uh, in case it cracks the paper. Now you want to cut up with the long side facing you. You want to cut straight up on the score lines to create your tabs. You can see better on this side. Do the same for the opposite side. Go through and put double sided tape on each of the tabs. Prefer to use tear and tape on foil backed papers with glue, it gets a bit messy. And um, if you get any glue that's visible, it will just dull the project, the foil. Now you need to remember. <clears throat> which side was the shorter side and which side is the um, 5 and 9 sixteenth side um, because that side will be the lid and this will be the bottom so the way to check is to offer it up and see if it will go over so this side slightly larger take your one inch circle punch and find the middle and punch a finger hole and then you'll know that's the front. Now this was my prototype and when I came to closing it um, I realised that I couldn't shut the box so then I had to readjust it. Now I don't like these flaps showing. I can still use the box but it means that I've got to have the what I intended to be the lid is now the bottom and I'll have to incorporate another finger hole at the top 
but I just don't like these flaps showing so that's why I did it the other way round a slight wedge on each of them so that it closes better so take a slight V shape from each tab I'll remove the tape and that's my lid so I want that to go on this bit here assemble the base and just to make sure that this is going to fit then you put that on the bottom move the tabs first then put the tabs in over the box base okay wrap it around and then you can attach the sides and that way you can make sure that the box is going to fit over the top next I'm going to do some stamping first I need my foam mat because I'm using photopolymer stamp and I'm just going to stamp my set sentiment in Pretty Peacock then I'm just going to trim it about one inches I'm going to show you how I cut my label for my box how I'm, I got this to have the stitched edges as well as the stitched tails use this straight edge here and have the words stamping up facing you so that you know you're cutting it the same direction each time and get some washi tape and tape that so it doesn't move then run that through the big shot do the same at the opposite end line it up with the word there so you know it's straight Pop your washi tape on and run it through the big shot a second time. Now you've got your stitched effect on both sides so then you use this smallest nest stitched nested label die and pop it by eye. You can see where it's going and again secure that to your cards your your plate run it through the big shot and repeat for the other side so I'll go and do that off camera and I'll be back you have your stitch tag so all you have to do is just snip it off follow the line snip snip the rest off then if you have a big pair of scissors just follow the line and trim the rest of it off you can see there's a slight um, mark left there by the stitched die so if you follow that there's your stitched label we'll set that aside while we do the rest of the die cutting so you need one stitched label on whisper white and you need one cut with the old olive um, paper and it's best to cut only what you need because if you have a, a cutting plate that is heavily marked it will transfer itself all onto the foiled paper and it looks really ugly from the peacock feathers dies I'll cut some feathers using the three colored foils so it, that's an old olive pretty peacock and blueberry bushel so I'll do that off camera and I'll be back. Bring back my foam mat so I can do a bit more stamping. And this time I'm using the Pretty Peacock ink to stamp a flower at the top. And one at the bottom. Now I need to attach this to the other label and stagger it a little bit and I want that to lie flat on the box 
and make sure which side is the opening end. That's the finger hole. So I want it this end. Slightly off centre. Pop my jewels on. And this time I use an old olive one. Take the label that you prepared earlier and put lots of um, adhesive on the back and then you can arrange your feathers on the back. Pop dimensionals on. Take the backing tape off. and pop it on the box. Now grab the ribbon and pop it round your box. Tap that underneath. Grab a glue dot and then just pop it underneath here. Just so you can keep bow tied until uh, in place until you can remove it. Then loop that and bring that over. Turn your ribbon so you need to twist it so that the peacock side is showing and then pull tight and adjust the ribbon. Trim your ribbon down. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share on Facebook and my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show mask section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed on my blog at blog.stampwithelaine.com. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.